We're back! We're in a new country. We're in a new continent. We're in Croatia. So this is series four. Can you believe it? Last night we flew into Zagreb. Today, that's where we're starting the journey. So we're gonna get some tickets, we're gonna jump on the tram, and then we're gonna go and see the old and the new part of town. We've recently been in Southeast Asia. We've just come back from Thailand. So we've had a month back at home working, and now this is our next month away. We thought we'd take advantage of the European sunshine. Into the central. Yes. So here's the tickets, they're four. What's the, what's the currency again? Kuna. <laughs> Kuna. <laughs> Oh, I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby night. We're traveling the world, but we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be traveling in a month. Then coming back to the UK and working a month. So we're going to be traveling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with a toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. You get them from the tobacco store because they're cheaper than getting them from the tram machine things. So it's so cheap. I don't even know what that is in English, but it's better than walking, isn't it? <laughs> So this is the sun. An artist put the sun here, right here. Then another artist came along and went, nah, I'm not having that, I want all the planets, and put nine different planets in different places around Zegrim. So naturally, people have graffitied all over it, which is lovely. There's definitely a woolly drawn on it or two. So I don't know where the other planets are, but if we find them, we'll show you. We're currently on the way to find one of the favorite places where you can have speaker, which is basically like coffee. So this is the nice bit of Zagreb. This is where all the small dogs on Leeds are. That's where all the champagne is. That's where all the nice bars are. We're sat in where is one of the most popular places to sit and have coffee. It's a little square. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, but this is what it's called. Very nice. Do you want a cappuccino? Sausage roll. Sausage roll. Yeah, you can take the boy out of England, but you can't take the England out of the boy. Sausage roll! Sausage roll. Oh. Standing ground. Oh. Oh. What is it? Your favourite. Oh. 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 Oh, very tasty. The speaker lifestyle. The, the what? Speaker. The Spitzka. Yes. Okay, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce the names of these roads, but this is where you go if you want food and drinks of an evening. Absolutely stunning. Um, especially if you want a burger. There are about 25 burger restaurants up this street. But they all look really nice, very clean. All the staff are really friendly. Definitely recommend this place. So it's just taken us half an hour to find this place. Um, we walk around in circles and it's traditional Croatian food, but it's basically only cheese. And I love cheese. Lawrence has told me I've been relegated from choosing restaurants. But apparently it's really nice. It's got a 4.8. So this one is a dry one, a Croatian or traditional one. So has it got a name? Uh, Traminac. Nice. It's got a very unique flavour. Yeah, I need I need you to try this because this is almost dull. It almost tastes like flat. Although wine is flat, but it tastes like flat. But no, it does have a distinguished taste. Uh, it's a dough based with cheese, and you get inside your ingredient, and it's roasted pepper. What's it called in Croatian? Uh, Strokli. That's it, thank you. Enjoy! <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. So we did just check, you don't eat it with anything, you don't eat it with bread, you don't eat it with anything you dip in it, you just eat the melted cheese. Lawrence is really looking forward to it. Yay! Ooh. Oh, 
It's like a, it's like a creamy lasagna. Really like that. Hey. As far as dull food goes, really, if you can imagine, flavourless cheese, creamed, in like with like lasagna pasta, and the filling's like a, a flavourless pepper. Bake it. That's what it tastes like. Let's give this a go then. That's very good. When I say flavourless, I mean you can enjoy it. It's not like rich and overpowering with flavour, but enough flavour that you would enjoy your milk. Very surprised. So we've just been told to get the cable car thing from new Zagreb to old Zagreb. The lady just said come through here. This is a very long, echoey, creepy tunnel. We can't see the end of it, so. shortest cable railway it's been here since 1890 and this is what takes you from lower modern Zagreb to the top medieval Zagreb put that in Google to find it so something else about Zagreb is they have like a ridiculous amount of museums and the most weird and wonderful topics one of the most famous ones is called the Museum of Broken Relationships which sounds really quite depressing but apparently loads of people come see it. Speaking of which... So just because I'm full of fun facts today I'm going to tell you that up here in the old medieval bit is one of three European cities to still have gas lamps. I can see one just there, I'll show you in a sec. And somebody comes around and manually lights them every day. 200 of them. Can you imagine having to be that man? That is a gas lamp. I'm sure of it. Gas lamp. This is the flower market. So this is part of the Dolak market. But this is down the stairs. Full of fresh flowers, plants. Beautiful, smells lovely. So this bit is in the downstairs, like ground floor, but inside of the Dalek Market. Here you can get chicken, veg, fruit, but then you can also get stuff that's ready-made, like cakes and biscuits and pastas and all stuff like that. Quick tip, if you do have kids, there's an elevator right at the very end underneath the stairs. So you can take the buggy and go right up. So Dalek Market, it was open in 1930. The signature of Dalak Market is the red umbrellas. This whole market here, each stall would have a red umbrella up. This market, there are lots and lots of wasps. Now, they may be annoying, but it's a good thing. It means that there's no pesticides and all of the fruit and the veg are organic. Now, you have to excuse me trying to um, pronounce these things, but the things that are famous for here are mandarins from the Nereteva Valley and Cherries from Zada. There's literally cherries everywhere. Oh, and also honey. Like real good honey. So surrounding this market, there's also lots of bars. Fancy a beer with your cherries? Crack right on. Ban Jelacic is the general's name. From the 19th century during the Austro-Hungarian Empire, he was all for the Croatian independence, and this is his statue here. 
But what's important here as well, the clock there in the distance. For the locals, it's very, very, very important. It's where they all used to meet when obviously you didn't have watches and phones and all the rest of it with the time on. You'd meet under the clock at say two o'clock and then you'd go and have a coffee from there. The old Duke of Croatia, basically there was like a big drought on and he stuck his sword in the ground and the water came up, so he shouted Zagrabite, which means scoop it up, scoop it up. As in, like, get the water, get the water. And that's why Zagrab is called Zagrab. Yeah, and now it's raining, so it's definitely not a drought here. So this big bag of cherries, one kilo was like a pound. And they're all gone. So I'm gonna try one out. It's supposed to be really good, really fresh. They're very juicy, they're a lot softer than the ones we have in England. So nice, enjoy one. So this is the stone gate. Now the chapel in here is dedicated to Virgin Mary. The original gate was built in 1266. But then there was a massive fire in 1731 and it basically burnt everything to the ground except for one picture of Virgin Mary holding Jesus. People of that particular religion see this as a miracle. It's really beautiful down there. People come down here to light candles and pray. It's a really nice vibe in there. There's a few benches in there. People light a candle, have a little pray and then go about their day. This here, St Mark Square. It has two coat of arms. One is for the city of Zagreb and the other one is for the Kingdom of Croatia. It's famous for the tiles really, but it is one of the oldest buildings in Zagreb. It's a shame there are parliament government buildings either side, but this is a beautiful part of the city. We are actually enjoying <laughs> Zagreb, but it's all a bit serious for us. If you've seen our channel, we do like to have a joke and whatever. Oh, we couldn't really joke about anything here, could we? Because it was either religious or it was to do with like the Yugoslavian breakup. And I didn't want to get any on anyone's bad side. But we are usually a bit more happy than this, I promise. We are enjoying it. <laughs> are you enjoying it? Yeah, I am. Right, so day one, where are you with the Croatian language? It's tough, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Day one, I know, voila, voila. Nanas, can you say voila? Yeah. Uh, da, yes. No. Ne, no. Bok, 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 bok. You know bok. It's hi or goodbye. So that's as far as I am right now, but by the end of these 30 days, I'm going to be an absolute native. Fluent.